Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to delete gaps between clips or other objects in DaVinci Resolve. Welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. I'm Chill and my goal is to help you transform your passions into an online business. I will assist you with creating WordPress websites, online courses, email automation, membership sites, social media and how to make it work for you, sales and marketing, and more. Basically, you provide the passion and I provide assistance and let's work to get your dream realized. Subscribe and click the notification bell to set your dreams in motion. Okay, here we are in the edit page. I have a bunch of pictures here which I'll throw into the timeline all at once. Control A, drag it down. By default, all of these uh, images are shown for five seconds. If you click this, it, it says four and 29. That means four seconds and another 29 frames. Since I'm using 29 frames as my frame rate, that means it's pretty much five seconds. Okay, so these have five second intervals. And for example, we wanna shorten the slideshow to be four seconds. To select it all, Control A and right click and select change clip duration. It's at that five seconds, which is four seconds plus 29 frames. So that's their version of five seconds. Let's change it to three and 29 frames. That's pretty much four seconds. And now you see there are gaps created. It didn't squeeze them all together. It left gaps. And now we want to remove all these gaps. And that's pretty easy with DaVinci Resolve. Just go up to Edit and Delete Gaps. And there you go. With one press of a button, we removed all the gaps. We didn't have to do it manually. And now we can see that the, the uh, intervals are in four seconds. Let's, let's play it. One, two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four, change. So that's how you reduce the frame intervals from five seconds to four seconds. So that you know, the way the system works, this delete gaps, it will delete only the gaps that exist all throughout your other tracks. Let me show you an example where there's an object here above this gap and another track on track two, which will prevent that gap from being deleted. Okay, so let's add a track. We got two. Let's just drag one of these guys here. That image is above this gap here. So now if we do a delete gaps, go to edit, delete gaps, it removed all the other gaps except that one. Why? Because on track two, there was something there. So that was not a gap. So it only deletes gaps that exist throughout your tracks. That's how it works. Whether it's a audio, whether it's a image or a video. I hope you found this useful. And if so, please give the video a like. Let me know down in the comment section below if you have other questions that I haven't addressed and I'll certainly get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be doing more videos like this so subscribe and click the notification bell to see those. And remember it's my mission to give you the tools and inspiration to help you build your online business and transform your passion into success. Thank you.